Hi everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome back to Franbo. Previously on Franbo, we completed Chapter 3. Now we're off to a new zone to hopefully find a solution to all this madness. Hmm. There's my pills. And someone's dragging them by a rope. That's really, really stereotypical. Where are you going, pills? I need you. This is midnight. Do you think this is a trap? So, about speaking too soon. Was the midnight? the rope traps work better when we don't have tools mr. spooky skeleton I am Edward your faithful friend Man, that trap really rattled my bones. I like this guy. I mean, he's a nice guy, but you know, he's also a skeleton in a suit and a dapper hat. That's just... you really can't beat that. He didn't see the darkness within. <laughs> Point of my reality, whatever that is. I'm hoping some of this is real, in a kind of, was it a dream? And then there's like a little item from the imaginary world that shows that at least it was partially real kind of thing. Not made out of darkness, made out of bones. Do I look like the type of person who would have a bone to pick with you? I mean, if I wanted to kill you, you'd be boned by now. Oh. Behold, hit what a flying machine. Damn, you're inventor too. What dapper can you get?
No, you must go out and find items and help me solve puzzles. Nice, you made a uh, bucket. Great invention. Secretly, he just wants to eat. Or at least to feel like he's eating again. If I had to pick a figure, if you're supposed to represent anyone, you might be the actual doctor that takes care of us. Because he's the closest figure I could think of that would talk to you at night. Bird. That's an actual invention. Actually, I should pop these right here. Whoa, that's not co cool. So much hair. It's so shiny. Damn, this this sucks, man. I'm only half dead. The worm inside. For a second there, I thought it was the skeleton of the moose talking. And the moose skeleton was gonna be like, I'm not dead. I was just a skeleton trapped in this flesh. Oh my god. You're a little grim reaper. The scavenger of sword. I always hate worlds where everything's so literal. Fire berries on fire. What do I have? I need water in the bucket. So I kind of did this a little too soon. Water. I'm gonna need some hair. And then we have to tie it to the bucket and lower it down.
Nice. Simple enough. You are your own home. So in a sense, the only one to go back to was absolutely worthless. Maybe we should value ourselves. I've had this knife for a while. Alright. That's it. Let's go back to Spooky. Really? They made out of fire. You're kind of like a weird skeleton Doctor Who. Essentially, it's it's a cop out. Through time, you have to explore and experience to understand. It means growth, personal growth, anyway. This could be a bit of an exposition chapter, I think. Get some duct tape. The book out. Hmm. So, uh... You, uh... You made the bomb. human flesh. There were some weird drawings in the other book, too. You know he has style. Camelot. He's also made video games. Of 
kill the big bad. Ah, it's the goat. I wonder if I get anything from beating this. Okay, absolutely nothing. I am winner is you. Attack of the Easter. Wait, what? Am I being literally attacked by a video game Easter egg? Gotta lead where the target's going rather than where it is. Missing a lot of shots. I'll well, beat that. I'll beat your game. Yeah, it's the robot cat. Apparently he's friends of the tree. Maybe they had a nice little romantic tryst one day. One gets a woody and one gets a boner. <laughs> oh, I'm awful. Damn, it feels like advanced. Fancy. I read the wall manuals, wherever they are. All right. So light the thingamagob. Attach the thingama thing, and turn to this thingama thing to the right, counterclockwise, and then adjust the thingama thing over here with the thingama thumb and turn down the thingama thing. So first we have to fill the thingama thumb with this. Oh yeah, I first have to turn on the gas. Throw some water. Oh, we got a leak. Better duct tape that up. So we got some of thing my thing looking over here. The reality view that reality view fire. So chemical mixture AFM A eighteen two PF IRS and one six six which has been cooked. Goes down to mix the mixture of the thing thing. I'm using it, have I? Oh my god. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to give myself some love. It's weird, this is not normal. Girls.
I guess this is the backstory of the sisters. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds. It were the creature of the night. It came always around in dreams of reality. Teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand, because they were completely lame. It would was a friend. Ipwit was a link between darkness and light. He was grey. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Ipwit once and for all. And they realized it was dumb because they were stabbing a skeleton with a knife. Huh. Did all this time. Probably to the solitude skeletons in the closet. So he connected them. Give you nothing but what you already have. Hmm. So that was the end. He knew it was coming. So when we arrived and the black cat went missing, that was it. Nice story. Just this. Alright. Turn that on, because now we got gas. Now this has to pump. Pink. And blue. So here's how we get the other parts. For some reason a hose was in that world, but... There we go. And check the switches. Red, left, blue, right. Okay, that should be it. And the final hose. There we go. No, we're all done. Only killer rabbits. Look at the teeth on those rings. Like, no, it's just really just a rabbit.
You have terrible posture, by the way. Get some more calcium. That's a... It's a, it's a doll. So I get a pop to life. It's a midnight. Still never trusted you. I knew you're all bones and no brawn. Alright, let's solve some puzzles. Interesting. Two, one, this. Hmm. Battery. One, one, Anna. I need that. Carrots. Five, shank, and four over there. Bolts. He's on this one. Let's open it up. Damn, it looks like the inside of my computer. We need a battery. Full power. Alright, now what do these do? I should go back down and look at these pills. Oh! Back up we go. Water. Right then. Nine. Six to the right. They kind of go rabbits still like carrots, right? Shink. Oh, I'm back out. Which one's the light switch again? Happy birthday! Sorry for locking you in with killer rabbit robot. 
and making you see like a vision of your parents decapitated. I'm not really, I'm not really happy about this. All the members, including Mr. Tedsum, Mr. Teddy, and Mark. Don't ask why he's not a bear pun. He tried to be a hipster. What is it? It's a cat. The whole discussion of seeing alter realities and stuff with the pills reminds me of a certain school of thought, which is basically we take psychedelics or LSD, that's one of the obvious ones, that you're peering into another realms and getting other perspectives. And it's a religious experience in a sense. Not really quite true, but... In my opinion, anyway. Yeah, some of the dialogue he's talking about sound like that school of thought. He's not quite saying you're seeing another dimension, but he's saying you're seeing another perspective, which in a sense is another dimension. Did you hear that, kitty? These pills take me to a happy place. Under attack, man of torpedoes. Do I have to play that little arcade game again for real this time? Oh, I have the water on me. I'm gonna use it to kill a Kamala. Time to experience nightmares. There you are, you're attacking the machine. I'm melting! Oh wait, it's still alive. We got it. I also went upstairs. I need some more water. No, actually, I'm gonna have to blast it with the machine. Turn. Right there. Fire it up! Oh, wait. Fire it up! Hurts you. Great shot, kid.
Thanks, Spooky. You're my only friend. It looks like there's just a bike there. Like they maybe just like fell off their bike. No one left town. Houses are built pretty close to the street, but I guess it's like a really urban place. Probably replanted. This door is really small. Under the plants, cliche. Go, oh, kitty. Unlock the house. When you've already stolen shit. Now it's time for breaking and entering. I want to go in. No. My spiritual journey isn't over. Mr. Midnight. Oh God, those cats.
Yeah. Wait, maybe. I don't know. Really? You seem like a nice guy. I guess you were. No signs of a struggle cut by surprise anymore. Fight back. The youngest girl in the family, Franbo, was found in the woods one day after the parents' murder as she froze to death. Trust that name. We did find that note. You're on a real bad trip, friend. What? Maybe I can actually see shit. The interactions may still be bullshit, but the actual f sight might not be. And it could go back to the whole psychedelic drugs kind of putting you in a plain reality thing. Let's go back to the house, Doctor. Dr. Oswald. So everything's kind of falling into place. I kind of figured he was a good character, though. Just from the initial reaction of where she collapsed in the pills, he said to take her off the pills. Which is, you know, what you're actually supposed to do. At least nowadays, anyway. Ah. 
teddy bear. I could see how friend would be able to kill him so cleanly. I don't see how she would have the strength to do it. If the friend did theories are true anyway. I hope nothing bad happens to you. Father. Mommy. Me. I still have these items. Light that up. Crowbar. This is the papers from earlier. Please don't break after one use. Alright, sorry about the wrecking your home earlier. How do, how do pine cones mate? <laughs> Car seat. He's gonna be pissed, but you know. Good cause. Is it dead? Fabio, where are you running? Is that part of the mating ritual? You found one. So that was like all worthless. Like ruined his car seats just for that. Oh, great. I have the honors of opening my parents' coffins. It's not gonna be traumatizing at all. Yeah, Mr. Midnight.
That's easy, everyone. Oh god. I wonder if that was a security guard. Oh. 